Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Gentleman's War uh, starter set for bolt action. Now before this starts, I just want to say that a lot of these hobby related videos probably end up mostly watched by adults. So I wanted to say that um, I know that I am not an adult, but I urge you to give this channel a chance. Um, and yeah, let's start. So the first thing... They've got a uh, Gentleman's War Star set on the front with some really, really cool art. And then on the back, it shows us the miniatures inside. We'll get, take a look at them in a second. Damage markers, which I noticed it does not say on the web store, but it does come with damage markers. Um, uh, and it shows a really cool little thing in there. Gives a description. Um, and yeah. Let's open this up. All right, so when we open this on the sides, we see that there are some advertisements for some of their other games, but they have the play sheet um, on the back, but this is the back of the Gentleman's War manual. Um, if you look at this, it's got some art. It's got some lore. I mean, not lore. I'm <laughs> so used to Warhammer. It's got some history uh, in it. Um, it's got beautiful color illustrations of the models. Um, it's got some cool scenarios for you to fight. Um, shows you how to paint them, and it's got the building instructions for the vehicles. Um, and then next, we've got the vehicles themselves. This is the German, um, SK-222, is that right? Hold on, let me look. Is that right? I actually have no idea. Um... Yeah. Uh, uh, wait. KFZ. KFZ222. My bad. Um, so we've got that little kit right here. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, and then we'll get to the rule book in a second. But the other vehicle, one thing you'll notice... Oh, wait, sorry. This is, this is the KFZ. And then that one's the, um, the British vehicle. Um, the British vehicle, which is called... The Humber. Yeah. So the really, the interesting thing you'll notice with these vehicles is the Humber, the British one, is much beefier of a kit than the than the German one. The German one's actually like a considerable bit smaller. Um, I've also seen in pictures. Um, so the next thing you'll get is the full second edition bolt action rule book. Um, it looks super, super beefy at first, but I've noticed that a lot of it is history and scenarios and rules for the different armies and stuff. So it's not as bad as it seems. Um, then you get two, two, not one, but two bags of pin markers. Not pin markers, uh, vehicle damage markers, which is really cool. Although, um, when you open it, uh, they, this one came damaged, like it's off its base, so... That's a little disappointing, but it's whatever. Um, then we've got the miniatures. Um, but before we get to that, we've got the cards for the vehicles. Um, the dice, we've got a lot of dice. Um, then this it's the same sprue for, for the whole thing for both the British and infantry. So we're just gonna look at that. For the British and Germans, uh, one of the things fell off in shipping. But for the Germans, we get a nice selection of heads. Let me get that under the light. Um, got a nice selection of heads for the Germans, including uh, officers, um, and some LMGs, I think that is, uh, SMG, a gun team, I think, all sorts of stuff, so it's really fun. And then... For the British, which is a lot more interesting uh, in terms of uh, heads, one sec. The British, all right, here we go. The British have a really, really cool selection. So not only do they have the regular British guys, um, they also have Sikhs and uh, Punjabi, I think that's what it's called, and uh, Scottish. So you can have them as whatever you want. Um, and there are guns and bayonets on them, which is really cool. Um, let's look at the, here, they're heavy weapons. Let's see if we can get that to focus there. Um, 
and where's the other one? Doesn't look like there is one, but they have like a cool pickaxe and is that explosive? It's hard to tell. Um, and then if we remove the sprues, if we remove the sprues, we get to the bases. We've got uh, eight of the of this size, and then a bunch of these, and then we got uh, all of this stuff. Uh, and then the pin markers as well. This is actually a really heavy sprue. Um, in a really bright red color. Um, all right. And yeah. Oh, I didn't say anything about it. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, just really simply what comes in it, what to expect if you're thinking about buying it, or if you're anxiously awaiting it in the mail, like I was looking up any and all reviews of this set, uh, then here you go.